back for a little more Delta Rune chapter two. So we'll just uh, hop right in. Now, uh, for transparency sake, after I filmed the last video, I immediately, I filmed it just maybe an hour ago and change. And what I did was I just let my computer cool down a bit, let my equipment cool down, like my webcam, when stuff gets hot, I wanna let it cool down. And then I wanted to, upload a little footage, a small, like a minute worth of footage to YouTube on a private video so I could look at it on several different computers and devices of mine, make sure the audio bounced through my mic and the game sounded good on things other than the computer I'm filming this on. And I made the mistake of saving the game file as, no, the video file, I saved it as Delta Rune Test. And just because I named it that, when I looked at it, the unlisted video on YouTube on my iPhone, I was like my phone was horizontal and when you look at horizontal video on YouTube the top the, the next recommended video that YouTube's algorithm selects is going to be on top and so when I just went to look at my test footage the very top thing had this huge thumbnail spoiling the final boss of chapter two and I wasn't able to fortunately I was able to not see anything but it was like unavoidable like I stood just right there I saw it and the thumbnail was really obnoxious and now that's spoiled for me. Now, it said that I guess what's what I guess is the name of the character. I don't know anything about them, the context of them. For all I know, this character may be a character that might be revealed within the next 10 minutes of me playing. Uh, because I only played like about an hour into the game. But it may be very obvious very early on that this character exists and that there'll be a boss in the game. But now I don't... Just the... I hate... I'm basically going to film all of these uh, seg uh, sections of the Let's Play, and then I'm going to release them periodically once they're all filmed, because the sooner I film all this, the sooner I could not have to basically like shelter myself from the rest of the gaming internet and my corner of the internet, where I have friends and other people, and YouTube's likely to recommend videos of other people playing it that will have spoilers in the thumbnails or the titles that I can't or avoid. So I'm just being transparent with you with that. Now let's get started. Let's, uh, all right. So the uh, Thames had quite the transformation. I mean, the just the finding out with the town. Now, it, what's really cute that I just noticed is that Ralze, is that the dress he's wearing? I mean, he's kind of wearing that, that kind of dress-like sort of out frocky kind of outfit thing in the first game, but just the look without the hat and the sh shoe that just makes it look like less of a... I don't know, it's interesting. But the fact that he has his hands behind him like that is real kind of cute. I just noticed that. Now, let us continue. Int, for the first time... I've been waiting a long time. Hey, it's the ball that looks kind of like that ball character from uh, Link's... No, no, from A Link to the Past. It's a bit scary moving to a new place, but as a ball... There's nothing to spear except spear itself. Now, uh, I want to just say I did, uh, based on my uh, observations of the last video, the final result, I did reduce my mic volume a lot, so the mic volume should be much better this time. If you have any, sug I mean, I'm gonna be examining as I go along, uh, you know, how the audio quality, but hey, this should be good. And hey, there's the jack. That's also a coat hanger. Ben Trouse, I will keep your hat a racked until you need it. Uh, I wanted to put the hat on now. He's cute with the hat on. But anyway. Finally, into the castle where I presume Trouse has baked a cake for us. Just wanted to show off your huge house, huh? Now, uh, I will have to um, try... I'm going to try to be consistent with these voices. I'm not a, Only characters that get, like, a profile picture I'm going to bother with the voice for. Just wanted to show off your huge house, huh? No, what I wanted to show you is upstairs. Will you let me explore? Two oh. F living quarters. Let's mine this. The door, the door is locked. B F living. <laughs> B 
BF, living quarters for bad guys. You aren't bad guys. What are you guys doing down here? It's violently protecting the jail. Let them out the cage. We're still behind bars for some reason, but it's okay. You're going to love this hellish place where we dress as animals. Um. Yeah. Um. I didn't realize that the other king characters were all dressed as animals. We decided to dress as kings. It's our cult it's cultural exchange. Ah, now that's a bad guy. Are you going to going to talk to us? Oh, the light years. Have you come to humiliate me? No. Mr. King, the light years returned everyone here safely. If you're willing to reconsider then live in a kingdom ruled by you? The light years, little pasty. A uh, little patsy. Staying in this cell is far less humiliating. Now, if you will excuse me, my giant hamster wheel is getting cold here. Well, now we know where... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. By the way, is my son happy? Like you care? We're gonna throw him off a cliff. Uh, your prejudice made my bluff too effective, I see. Besides, even if I threw him, he would just bounce. My son is a bouncy little pumpkin. Aw, cute. We're done talking to you. Uh, really, uh, all of, um, Susie's new, uh, dialogue uh, image uh, dialogue sprites are uh, height to the max ultra on point oh I nearly forgot this is where I cook you cook everything in a giant witch's pot sorry I, I get I have to I'm not consistent with these voices I'm not a professional voice actor but you cook everything in a giant witch's pot of course cauldron cooking is very convenient here Chris Susie have a cake Hmm, a little thick on the frosting. That was for sharing! Hey, anyone was free to make an interception. I thought the cake was going to be upstairs. Apparently, it's something else he wants to show us is upstairs. Now, right now, we're just casually chilling in the dark world with no threats or danger obvious, so I'm interested at what point that's going to change. I have a surprise for you two. I made rooms for you in the castle. Rooms? So you can stay here whenever you want. Um, I'd be happy if this place could be like a second home to you. A place that you can go no matter what's happening outside. Hmm, I want it. <laughs> well, we'll take a look. wardrobe full of all sorts of different clothes. You can wear whatever you want, but it won't let us. It's a shelf. All sorts of keepsakes could be put here. It's a stand for your manual. I thought you might want to keep it here in case you want to read it. Yeah, it won't let us read the manual. It's your bed. It feels incredibly soft, like sleeping on a dream. <laughs> Some decorative moss looks delicious. Why the hell does your room get moss? Well, we I don't know, Susie. We haven't been in your... Wait! What are all these trophies? They put trophies... They honestly put trophies in my room. Like how um, Asriel, in, in back in the normal world, in our in Toriel's house... Sorry, I'm just having too much fun making these guys uh, walk around in cute little circles. Let's see what's in this room. This oh, Lancer gets a room too, and it just says. And Susie, this is your room. I uh, tried to make it something you'd like, but you can put anything else you want in here too. I really hope you like it. Aw, pink axe. 
Are these all the same color as your skin? I think just about. My own room, huh? I guess that's pretty cool. My own room, like this. She... How long did it take you to do this? I want... Where does Susie live? Does she live in that apartment building? I was under the impression... Somehow I got the impression that her family... Or whoever she's living with, she's not very well off. I don't know how I got that impression, but... Well, uh, well, since I last saw you two, I... Man, you're a real weenie, you know that? <laughs> I think she likes it, Chris. <laughs> Jealous I got the cool old room. Look, Chris. And... Cool, spike bed. Now I can stab myself during the night. Um, Susie's... In the last game, she's made a number of references to hurting herself, and I'm a little concerned for her. Finally, some convenience. Damn, there's everything in here. Pine cones, chalk, moss, jars of salsa, pieces of ice, black crumbs from the toaster, jawbreakers. Oh, and like, actual food, too. Susie, you didn't get to read the manual, so I put it over here for you. Cool, I'll read it before bed. That'll put me to sleep. Susie. Oh, okay, there's more about the manual. What's in the cabinet? It's a clothes store full of spiky and dangerous clothing. All the clothes are ripping each other up into shreds. Hell yeah. Jealous, Chris. Uh, since this is on Switch, I wonder what rating this got. I mean, it has the word hell. I mean, I think Deltarune Part 1 and Undertale were both rated E. Or E10+. Plus. I was surprised Undertale or in Deltarune didn't get T's. Because it has the word hell and ass in it. Um, but anyway. You know, it's kind of funny. Like, I'm looking at the video here. The, the train video at the top. There's a steam train. And then on the left, there's a, a diesel high-speed train. And this video was taken in the early 90s. So now the high-speed diesel train has been retired. And the steam train is probably still in service, um, doing museum tours. Let's go to Lancer's room. Oh, Lancer's already in here. Lancer, you aren't going to believe how sick my room is. A room as sick as you? Whoa, I want to see it. Sorry, I just keep forgetting what voice I'm supposed to use. I'll keep digging holes until I reach your room. Um, it's got a... Yeah, okay, that's... Okay, all the Darkeners have color dialog box sprites. Door. Cool, Peach Boy. You went all out. Wow, it's better than I remember. I even have my own bed now. I don't have to sleep in a hole anymore. I thought you already had a bed. No, that was for the bike. Yep, and the photo portraits that stick their tongues out. It's a music player. Listen to the contents. Listen. Little cartoon splat noises. I love that my floor is full of holes. There's salsa bread in the ground here. I found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. It's a hole, presumably dug for fun. It's a hole made recreationally. Oh, what's this? Hey, Rousey, what's up there? Just more rooms I'm renovating. So is your room up there? Er, yes. I still um, haven't dusted it, though. Yeah, I like we need to see your nerdy glasses collect- your nerdy glasses collection anyway. How does- Sorry, we're for- Alright. So in Chapter 3, we go get to see Rousey's room. So, what do we do now? You know, I, I just want to say, I had thought of this, I, I thought of this during the hour between when I stopped doing the last one and me starting to record this one. Pretty much, um, as long as the soul is in Chris's body and I'm in control of this character, he's safe. I'm not worried about him. He's not going to pull out a knife and stab somebody. But, Okay. I basically don't have to worry about him until the next time he goes to his bedroom and turns out the lights. Right. What do we do now? Feel free to explore the town so you're ready to leave. 
Ha, like we're gonna leave now, right, Chris? It is the weirdest, it is still so odd actually being able to see Susie's eyes. Yeah, I, something, yeah, okay, we talked to them. Now something's about to go, either, I'm guessing if something's gonna go down, it would be happening pretty soon. You know, it just occurred to me, this is the first proper town other than home to, like in Deltarune Chapter 1, there really was no towns in the game. It was really just a point A to point B path, and there are areas with NPCs, but there are no proper towns. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Alright, yeah, they're all saying the same thing. Like these buildings here, these untrans. Oh, I guess all of these buildings are going to transform later. But like, is the originally? Yeah. No, just the perspective, the warped like nature of the buildings. I just wondered if perhaps um, these were. Wait, Chris, we're not. We're leaving, but we just got here. Man, I don't want to go to our go to our group project. Oh. You two have homework? Uh, well... <laughs> that face on Rousey. Oh my gosh, Rousey. You know, like, him having this new look to his body... There, it's interesting how differently I perceive him, and how the new facial expressions they're able to do with him, now that we could actually see his face properly. Susie, Chris, you ought to do it right away. School's important. I banish you from this kingdom until you start your project. Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it. Jeez. Susie, don't worry. I'll go and help you too. Uh, wait, Lancer, perhaps you shouldn't. Yeah, can Darkner's not survive? Will he just turn back into a playing card or something if he goes back into the light world? What would Rousey turn into if he came into the light world? He's not based on any toy or object that we've encountered, that we know of from the normal world. Uh, wait, Lancer, perhaps you shouldn't. <laughs> Too late, kind boy. Friendship form. Uh. <laughs> Lancer was added to your key items. Uh, what? W where'd you go? No, no. What? W where'd you go? <laughs> Don't worry, I just entered your inventory. I'll just be hanging out in Chris's pocket. Don't know what that means, but okay. Fear not, I too shall assisteth. Uh, we're good. Ah, uh, quite, as we as a team art good. Oh, rules. It became a key item even though no one wanted that. Alright, enough already. Let's get going. Good luck today, Chris. See you soon. You come back when you've finished your homework. I don't know. What's the point of having a room if you can't slack off in it? I don't know how to do an angry. Come back when you've finished your homework. Okay, that's a good angry Ralsei voice. Ralsei does not get angry that often. So, and it's back to the light world. Now, I like this. We're going. You know what? This is kind of like Digimon. Because, like, in season one. They go to the digital world, and they're stuck there for, like, 90% of the show. There's a, a, a single arc where they go back to the real world. Then they go back to the digital world for the rest of the show. And, but then in Season 2, they were traveling freely back and forth between the digital world and the real world. And actually, I wonder if Digimon influenced this. Because in Digimon Season 2, they were going back and forth from the digital world to the real world via the school computer lab. Well, damn, guess we gotta do our project. <sighs> At least we got Lancer, right? Uh, he's just a, he's probably just a playing card now. And rules card's probably just a card with the rules to different card games written on it. 
Lancer, where are you? Damn, guess he skipped out after all, huh? Hmm, so where should we do this? What? The library? Ugh, well, alright. I am in control again. And I am norm- Okay, let's, let's look at our items. Ball of junk. Go for the ball of junk at Emory, nothing happened. Cards. Cards. The Jack of Spades and the... Oh, okay. The Jack of Spades and the Rules card. So are they conscious in this form? I never had a... I've used... The only decks I really ever bought of card... I'm not a big card player, but the few decks I bought were all... Um... Like bicycle, and there was never a card with the rules on them. Um, use you held the cards; they felt flimsy between your fingers. So is is Lancer that specific Jack of Spades, or could I take a Jack of Spades from any deck, travel to the 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 Dark World? Well, they the toys are in different spots. Throne of the Gods grows higher. Is this hubris? It's a primitive drawing of your mom. It's an orange. It's unknown if it's safe for teachers to eat this. Or well, it's on your computer screen. The computer wallpaper is updated. It's a picture of your brother and you playing video games. Your brother is using the... Oh, the brother is using the... Yeah, Asriel, if you are like how you were in Undertale, yeah, you would be the one to volunteer to use the knockoff controller. The story was written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. Let's see the bulletins. Do you like reading? Moving fast? With or without legs? But usually with legs? Join the cross-country team with Jock and King and Noel. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? <laughs> and by the way, I didn't know, I didn't, never heard this is referencing a certain type of school dance, and I had no context for that, so I didn't... Alright, still the same. The locker is locked. The locker is locked. Is locked. What's in it? Okay, let's go... Wait a second. It's, it's after school. Where's the music? It's after school, so it's maybe afternoon or evening. Are we closing in on another day? Because I don't know what... I'm concerned as to what... I'm really freaked out by the lack of music. Um, let's use the cell phone. Ring, ring. Ah, Chris, you're going to do your project. Oh, are you calling to ask for my help? I will go find our homemade scented glue sticks. Oh, you have a partner this time? Chris, that's wonderful. I hope they like butterscotch scented glue sticks. And, uh... Oh, there's a huge traffic jam conveniently preventing us from exploring the rest of the town just yet. I heard a dog was doing donuts, so I sped over here. I just learned donuts is actually the name of a special attack for cars. Why is my life stuck in a loop of doughy disappointment? Yeah, even in Undertale, you could not enjoy your donut because you paid too much for it. Traffic's moving at a snail's pace. I love snails. Could today get any better? Hello, Undyne. You are just casually weightlifting with a car. Damn, I was just directing traffic as normal. Then a little dog drove one of those toy cars into the middle of the street and started doing donuts. In the chaos, all the cars in town got jammed up. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But, ordinary citizens like you gotta get out of here. I've got some heavy lifting to do. Alright, thank you, Officer Undyne. It's kind of weird having Undyne be reduced to this comic relief character, but... Uh... She's happy, but I, all right. I mean, I said all right, just myself, but Susie's on the same page with me. All right, we're here. School, goddamn project. How do you, there's no way this is rated. 
Uh, this has to be rated T with a dropping a, a that th tier of swearing. Like they'll even censor <laughs> that out on television. Looks goddamn crazy about them. Hey Chris, where the hell is everybody? Something seems kind of off. Screw it. Let's just go play space pinball in the computer lab. Uh-oh, it's a new dark world. It's a new dark world. Oh, snap, yo. It's a new dark world. And we still aren't... If, unless it lets us control, we still aren't going to get to see what's upstairs in the library. Huh? It's like... The inside of the closet? Chris, I don't think this could be... Another dark world. Well, I guess this means we can't start our project. Unless, you know, Chris, if there's a dark fountain in there, you can seal it. And it'll turn back into the computer lab, right? So what's it gonna be, Chris? Let's go, let's go. Or we can use the computer at my house. But we can't get to my house because of the traffic jam, but I want to see what happens. She's all... Chris, you're right. Like you said, a correct fact. But you made a mistake. The mistake of knowing me. Because when I see a big pit, all I want to do is jump in. And as long as you're with me, I'm dragging you in too. Come on, Chris. I... Oh yeah, I forgot that there was actually a computer. This is new. We're in like a computer themed dark world now? Is that what's going on here? Uh oh, we've, we've got a, a falling puzzle thing. Dark world? Yo, are we in the digital world? Are we, are we gonna meet Jedi and, and receive our digivices? Oh, an NPC. Are you a dark man? Yes, you have to be a dark man, obviously. The wires, the wires. Oh boy. Oh, it's a floor hazard. Oh shoot. The uh, floor hazards are a little, a little fiercer. Oh yeah, I forgot to. Yeah, I forgot the. Yeah, spooky sword. You know what? Yeah, we didn't buy this in the last game. Spooky sword became the Halloween pencil when we left. The, if you leave the, uh, the the dark world with it, I believe. Level 2 leader, level 2 dark knight, does damage using dark energy. Alright, let's continue. Everyone was... Oh, something bad happened here. What's your story? Everyone else has been... Save us. She's going to. Oh, who's... Somebody help me. No, well, excuse me. What are you doing? Are you a... We get reindeer girl priestess. Legit. As, I mean, I, she hasn't stood up to fully reveal. S Susie! I mean, cool that you're here. Just... Wait, get out of here before it's too late. Noel, oh man, if Susie is the one to save Noel. I 
I hope this music isn't too quiet. I just want to check my... I just want to check my volume here. Make sure I'm not overpowering the music too much. Because I know I have to turn it up on my end. I know the music is rather slight here. Um, Alright, based on... Yeah, based on... If this is... Yeah, I think I this is the character I got spoiled for, and I guess it would be fairly obvious she'd end up being the last boss, so I don't feel as bad. But the fact is, I don't want to. I wanted to know zero percent about this game. But anyway, hell of a study session. Who the hell are you? I am known as serial number Q five U four E X seven Y Y two E nine N. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm sure that, uh, that Matt Pat is, like, hiring his best, uh, code breakers to try to decipher some, uh, excessive meaning out of that. But you foolish children may call me... Queen. Alright, so, yeah, alright. Heh, <laughs> like, we're gonna call you Queen. Q U three seven uh Queen. Well look, Queen, we're not children. Teens are merely big children, and adults are even bigger children. I love this subtext thing going on. It's a good solution for figuring out how to handle simultaneous dialogue or doesn't that make you a child too then? No. I am a computer, smart. Computer? Well, thank you for the stimuli, but I must leave now. Goodbye. Wait, wait, why'd you capture Noel? I would have captured you too, but I ran out of cages. Why the capturing? So that she may become my willing peon. What, are they gonna turn her into a robot or something? We, we sat M Dr. Robotnik up in here? Okay. So that she may become my willing peon. In my quest for world domination. Also, maybe I will make her face into a robot one? What? Why? Seems cool. Well, forget it, dude. Nobody's turning anyone's face into a robot. Could that be a statement of animus dissension? Huh? You wanna fight, loser? Yes. Yes already. Yes! Okay then, bye! Wait, wait a goddamn second! I have no time for such frivolities and would kick your ass. But perhaps someone else could entertain you. Oh! Enjoy your assimilation. Okay, so yeah, we are in some Dr. Robotnik like enslaving creatures and transforming them into scary monsters that obey her evil commands territory where where wires swung in and the the faces are still attached to that wire thing which makes it even creepier now we're still i was hoping on one hand i'm glad to hear rude buster again on the other hand i'm a little sorry that it's not a new version of rude buster or a all new track to succeed rude buster but we're getting because we're getting seven chapters i i don't want to i'm not sure if i want to hear this for seven chapters for every single battle but i trust you toby i mean we're just gonna so we're just gonna keep going so act it's for oh we have a mercy gauge now all right now when we have an hp meter for the enemies so actually, that means fighting is going to be a more... They're already tired. They're already tired. But we don't have Rouse. We don't have Rouse. So we're going to have to spare them using Chris. Uh, <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. Toss Chris to free wire. Let's jiggle, jiggle first. And fight magic. I mean, unfortunately... Uh, yeah, let's see. Defend. Let's defend. 
You jiggled your body. The wire loosened in turn. Ooh, ooh. Okay. The atmosphere is electric. And the, by the way, these enemy designs are really cool. Alright. Mercy 50% because I wiggled the wire. Alright. Let's check and defend. Wear wire. Controlled by the Queen's wire, it's sleepwalking through a nightmare. Now, it would be especially cool to, uh, to uh, take these guys out when they're obviously, like, possessed. Well, assimilated, whatever. Um, now, let me think. Um, now, I wish there was an action command specific. No, actually, no, I guess that would be redundant. Ooh. Yikes, these guys are tough. Rare wire shuffles menacingly. So this imply that the queen is nearby. Um, act. Throw wire, toss Chris to free the wire. Okay, so I could choose. Okay, one is X. Okay, these are both X. I have to understand these action commands. Oh, I was miss. I was aiming for the thing that said X on it. I thought it was telling me to press X on the controller, but that wouldn't make sense because that's not even the action button. Greatly loosened. Mm. Now, can I? It smells like ozone. Now, emergency is at 100%. Alright, and spare is highlighted. Yeah, these refinements. Now, I'm, I'm guessing none of these refinements are, were added to Delta Room Chapter 1. Some things are just would have been just quality of life refinements, and other things are clearly just new mechanics entirely that wouldn't necessarily apply to those older battles. Now let's spare. Let's use the Dark Burger on Chris. Recruit, one out of six. It tells you how many you need to recruit them, that's cool. The dark burger. So now we only have one set of bullets to have to dodge here. Oh, it's, it's interesting seeing them from the front for the first time. Okay. Rear wire shuffles menacingly. Um. Oh yeah, so I was supposed to press X, why I agree with loosen. 50%, so that... And I don't have... It's interesting, are we not gonna have Rousey for this? And then we're gonna... Are we gonna end up fighting with... Having... Yeah, this battle system team is meant to support three people. Are we gonna have... Noel as our main... Uh, our main... Uh, our third party member? Now sparable. Oh man, it's this is gonna be I really miss Ralsei's healing spells right now. The wire's loose. The wires where wires wire is loose, okay. No. I'm having weird trouble with figuring out the Two out of six. Elon got zero EXP and two hundred two dollars. 
dark elves. Whew, nice fighting again after so long. Now let's go catch up to the queen. Or not. Huh? They calm down. Hey, Rouse. How's it going? I just used my pacify spell to put them into sleep mode. Rouse, Rouse, you're here. Sorry, I just have to remember all of your voices. I felt a dark presence and hurried over. It seems that a new dark fountain has appeared. Yeah, it, yeah, it seems that a new dark fountain has appeared. Yeah, that, that look on his face. Like, I, I do like how they could sort of represent the reflection of light on his glasses. Um, Ralsei, they got Noel. Damn, what was she thinking messing around in our dark world? If we don't do something, she might be. Worry not, Susie. All we have to do is seal the fountain. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be mad about another adventure, right? Come on, Chris. Let's go. Squad goals achieved. Is there a save point back there? Is there? Can uh, you have new dialogue? I saw you stand up to Queen. That was amazing. I'll definitely become a, a werewire if you can just free me. All right. What's down here? Oh. Oh, is every chapter going to start with a guy throwing stuff at us as we slide down a hill? Oh, this is hype music time. I feel it coming. Oh, it's a cyberpunk city thingy. Alright. A green field extends before you, and in the distance, a, a city shines brightly. You are filled with the power of a new adventure. File save. Cyber field entry. Are they almost walking in step with the music here? Almost. Almost. That would have been too cool, right? Cyber world. I see. Excuse me. Where wire swung in? All right, let's spare some more of you guys. Oh, Rouse, we are so glad you are with us again. You can heal us when need be. Okay. Plus, we have three characters, which. There we go. So, Chris, hack, throw a wire. So that. Okay. So that action takes up both Chris and Susie's turn, I see. So magic item spare defend. The wire greatly loosened. Oh yikes. Werewild crackles incomprehensibly. Sorry, the controls, for some reason the controls about a bit confusing, like, okay, throw a wire, throw a wire, okay, okay, so it's moving, okay, alright, I got, I, I get a sense of what's going on, alright, so, let's just, This next turn, I should be able to spare the top one. And I'll spare the bottom one. E. Okay. Alright, so I made the right move by pass using Pacify. Alright, and I did. But, you know, it's funny, because I never actually removed the wire from them, so I don't know if they're still enslaved, or... You got 
at zero HP and one hundred sixty-eight dollars. Oh, there's treasure down. Inside of this glow wrist, glow wrist was added to your armors. Let's see what armor I get. Oh, ho, rules jumped out of your pocket. Acrobatic lesser. Yeah, and of course nothing because we're in the dark world. Just had to try it out. Nothing but garbage noise. Um, so item. So I actually have to. Daggone it, I just threw away. There's something about this interface just confuses me. I just threw away some good items by accident. I don't want to. Okay. Yeah, something. Okay. I did not realize I was throwing away items so it was too late. So. Golem. Place them in the green wire studded with sharp glowing lights. Let's see. Like that, like that. Ooh. Oh, Chris has the glow wrist. Something about these menus is just confusing me. I don't remember having this problem in Delta Room, which I also played on Nintendo Switch with the same controller configuration. Yeah, so yeah, I can see how this is interesting uh, villain we have. That was a cool puzzle, I just didn't even have... Hey, who's this guy? Oh, okay, he's... Yeah, if, for those watching, only the, the heart, the actual pixel outline of that soul inside Chris, only, that is what constitutes the hitbox for these field challenges. Okay, so only Chris... Okay, I, I get more of a feel for what they mean with those teacup things. Oh, I see. Okay, it's a depth... Okay, I'm... S the objects are in three-dimensional space. Like, if this was on Nintendo 3DS, I could have understood that puzzle a lot more quicker. A lot more obviously quicker, but I see what they're getting at now. They're actually in the foreground and background at this point. Oh, Chris, it's a free editable, editable cyberpedia. I'll add an entry. Rousey wrote an article about losing recruits. Read it. 
from now on, defeating enemies with violence will make them lost. Okay. So in the game's lore, you're not killing them, but defeating them with violence will make them lost. Lost enemies cannot become recruits ever again. But the bonds you break may make you stronger. Okay. I like how that, like, and I, I know Toby kind of admitted this in that, that Q&A thing he put out after a few days, like, after Deltarune Chapter 1 came out, but he was saying basically, like, the whole, like, mercy and sparing system was kind of vestigial from Undertale, but didn't quite mean enough or have enough benefits to pursue a pacifist run in, uh, Deltarune Chapter 1, so I'm glad they found, he found ways to go about it. Lightners, I haven't seen many of you recently. Maybe you didn't know, an evil ruler is taking over this world. I don't really like politics, so I have no opinion on this. Yeah. Recently, something called Internet is having an outage. Oh yeah, they mentioned an internet outage back in the Light World. But, I just noticed... No, 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 that's part of the game. Never mind, I thought something was wrong with my layout on top. I'm like, why is my game window, like, scrolled down like that? But no, it's something... Uh, recently, something called Internet is having an outage. Some say it was the secret to the Queen's know-how. Since then, it seems like she's become quite extreme. Are they literally going to go with, like, that she's been radicalized by the Internet? Oh, shucks, a new enemy. Tasks covered your path. Roar and soft voice. Let's check it first. And we'll defend with... Um, can I? Wait, can... Task, this stray cat is in need of some management. Let me take that. Uh, Rail said cast pacified, but the enemy wasn't tired. Meow, 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 meow. Smells like plastic cartridge. Eh. Let's... Yeah, okay, we checked it already. Petting? And Susie will... Just use normal attack. And I'll say... You pet, you pet task, I like that. I just want to, I only need one hit point every night. Meow, 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 and so forth. Okay, smells like plastic cartridge. Okay, first one's tired. So, let's... Soft voice, is that? And we will, yeah, let's spare this turn. And right, let's defend with everyone else. Actually, yeah, let's defend with everyone else. Recruit 105, because spare task down here. I'm just trying, I just want to try different things the same enemies to get a sense of what's most effective. Now, now, roar. Cash grabs its rag wags its tail in a sine wave. That's adorable. Um, actually, yeah, let's, let's heal. Let's heal Susie. Susie roared, the enemies became tired. Who's king of the jungle now? It's just a cat. I also cast heal prayer. Meow, 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 meow. Task is beeping dangerously. But let's defend. Susie, defend. And Rouse. And use pacify. You won. Got zero XP and. 18, 180 dark dollars. 
It's cute how Rousey claps his hands. Alright. Noel, honey, become my willing peon and I will free you. All you have to do is hit yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is hit yes on the peon release form. Um, now what I'm interested in, she, yeah, I thought she was just going to turn her into a robot, but just, she wants her willing cooperation. I think there's something that Noelle can do as a lightener that, um, that she can't really do if she just uses, I almost said roboticize, but even though it's technically not entirely correct, uses that wire thing on her to turn her into a, like a, a violent creature. I almost said monster, but she already is a monster. I, I'm scared. Oh, have you never signed a form before? No, everything else that's scary. It's everything else that's scary. Please support your sadness protocol. I told you being a peon would be cool. <laughs> Noel. Wait, are we get? Uh, yo, are we gonna be battling with four party members in this game? Uh, it's Susie and Chris. Don't worry, we won't let your face get roboticized. Wow, they actually they said roboticized. Okay, I was legit. I'm like, there I go, being a, uh, a being an uh, early '90s kid watching Sonic on ABC, using the term roboticized just because it, there's a villain who wants to turn a an animal. Well, they're technically they're a monster, but they happen to be an anthropomorphic animal, just like in Sonic, into a robot, and I use the term roboticized. No, they actually said it in the game. So nice. That's that's something they're going to do. Oops, the thought, uh, you knew that. Oh dear, that was supposed to be a surprise. Um, yeah, I can't be too loud in this apartment, because it's like, uh, past ten o'clock uh, right now. Oh dear, that was supposed to be a surprise. Oh well. W wait It's quite troubling. A peon must be willing to assist me in world domination. If only she had fellow peons to encourage her. So, so like you guys, hey, are you like doing anything right now? We aren't going to help you. Misunder, understood. Mind change and protocol necessitated. <laughs> what is going on here? giant arcade game? I shall humiliate you with, at a simple children's diversion. With your self-esteem eradicated, there will be no choice but to serve me. This writing, once again, Toby delivers. The hell, I never played this one before. But Chris is quite good at games, aren't they? Oh yeah, Chris, forgot you were a nerd. Show her. Oh. So I like, I, it's funny, this villain is maybe more, more lighthearted than the, um, King of Spades, yet is more sinister at the same time. It's weird. You tried to use the arcade machine. You weren't tall or strong enough to use the controls. Self-esteem eradication complete. Running laughing protocol. Now we know what that file select noise is. Uh, um, it's okay, Chris. Uh, I'm short, too. Uh, Chris, uh, wait, I have an idea. Chris, we can combine our powers, then. Look, I'll show you what I've been practicing. Magical stool form R. Uh, I, you learned that from, uh... I learned, you learned that from, uh... What's this face? The the Jack of Spades is Lancer. Okay. Now we're talking. All right, Chris, leave it to me. Put your arms out. Power Beast Form S. Move your arms, and I'll move them with you. Let's go. Incredible. Your transformation is combining all your weak points. So 
Self esteem crushing efficiency 300% in rising. Commence virtual combat. Is this going to be a mini game? Oh, awesome. It's going to be a mini game. What? <laughs> Press A or B if you dare. I don't know if you can, like, oh, okay, you can, okay, it only said, it, okay, it only said A or B before, it didn't tell me that I could dodge, too, which is only fair, but in Undertale, I know they were minigames, they were actually minigames, That, uh, you, uh... This is... Oh, wow, you actually won. There are minigames you're allowed to lose, and actually even some minigames that you cannot possibly lose. And we beat her. <laughs> Thought you could beat us. Regal laughter. Oh my, that was actually quite amusing. Your life forms have exceeded your life forms have exceeded my expectations. I will offer you a new, exceedingly benevolent co compromise. Assimilate into my cyber army, and there is only a fifty percent chance I will reprogram your face. Please select your choice: perish in the chill of absolute destruction, or flourish under the warm bosom of my hellish reign. Bosom, <laughs> perish. <laughs> Um, yeah, per then perish. Dot JPEG. The hell did you say that so enthusiastically? Uh, Queen, aren't there any other options? Yes, you can also mega perish. Yeah, uh, no perishing. Yeah, no, yeah, no, perishing bites. You could say it, mega bites. Would you get out of here already? Understood. Preference settings set to perish. That walk cycle she had. Come on, let's go after her. The game is wrecked. You are filled with the power of video game violence. And... Uh, tasks, progress throughout a 10. Where... That is such a... I love... I Like, if you look at some of the creatures I've designed, a lot of them have creepy eyeless faces and long wobbly limbs like that so uh, I do appreciate it not yet fully recruited so yeah we're gonna the game is wrecked you are filled with the power of video game violence yeah I think that's a good spot to uh, call this episode complete so um, I will see you all next time and I definitely, I think that's the last uh, episode I'll be filming tonight. So, uh, but I do hope to film this as quickly as possible and get this done with. Because at the end of, the, because I'm not, I want to get back to shooting on Twitch. I'm not doing that until I film all these episodes. Which I will dole out periodically once I start shooting again, once I finish the game. So I will see you all next time. And thank you very, very much for watching. Mm -hmm.